Ahoy there, crew, and welcome to Lichitorium. I'm your Captain Shade Renard, and today we got uh, Ethical Bean Coffee. Now, I drank about half the bag, right? So, several pots so far. It's not bad. Uh, this is the Round Super Dark. So, yeah, I like dark coffees. That's what I prefer to drink. That is, like, my go-to. Whenever I buy coffee, I usually go with a dark blend as opposed to like a medium or a breakfast blend or something like that. Uh, I always go for the dark bread, dark blends. But uh, so, yeah, I tried this one and I really didn't think much of it. I mean, it's not bad coffee. Like I'd probably give this like a six out of ten. It was OK, but uh, I wasn't overly impressed with it. Like it just didn't strike me as the type of coffee that like I've got a few different brands that are like my go-to's right now on my like tier list it'd be uh, Tim Hortons Dark Roast, uh, Folgers Black Silk, uh, Rapid Fire Turbo Brew, and then Red Eye Roastery. Those are like my top four right now. But uh, I guess if this had to like come in in fifth it would but I don't know. Overall, it's not like super fantastic to me. Like it's okay, I guess. The one thing I will say about it that I didn't like is it's got this. It's got this weird smell. It's it's not bad. It's just different. It doesn't smell like other coffees that I've had. It smells a little different. But it is ethically sourced coffee. Uh, Hundred percent. It says 100% traceable, fair trade, and organic, seasonally sourced. So I'm assuming this is like, I don't know, all organic and everything else. I don't know. All I know is I've tried it, and I wasn't super impressed. It was okay. This is a uh, super dark French roast. I don't know. It's okay. I guess that's really all I have to say about it is it's okay. But those other ones that I mentioned, I would go with those before I'd go with this. So if you guys are looking to try this, I would say try one of the other ones that I've mentioned. If you can get those instead. Because those ones I personally like better and I think you guys would like those a lot better than this. Um yeah god I really don't know what else to say. Like I want to say something more about this, but to me it's just plain dark roast coffee. But it's not my favorite out there. So yeah. But I like trying other new things, other types of dark roast coffees, you know, other blends. Maybe I'll find something that'll, you know, knock down my tier list and become like my number one. Because for a long time there it was Folgers Black Silk, but now that Tim Horton's Dark Roast, which I recently tried, is up there at my number one. I like that one the best. So I'm always looking out for something new. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, check out more videos like this one in my Delicatorium playlist. I've got all sorts of other food reviews and coffee stuff and whatnot there. If you like this video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you at the journey's end. Ta-ta.